Okay, guys, so we're continuing on with I Am Fish. We're in the final stage of the four fish. This is the Flying Fish's final challenge before the finale of the game. So let's see. It's called Take Flight, and we are... Are you kidding me? It looks like we're in an airport. Are we at an airport? An actual airport? Of course we are. Why wouldn't we be? <laughs> Why not? Why not be at the airport? Sure. Insurmountable challenge number four billion. got a fan, so I probably got to jump and maybe take flight with the, the high... Oh, I already see bread over there. Yeah, see, we are we're stuck in this area, so I definitely have to jump here and fly. The question is, where is it going to take me to that tank over there, it looks like. Now, there's bread right there, and there's no way I can reach it from here. Yeah, there's no way I can reach it. I need to take flight and maybe do some adjusted things to come back over here to this table, I guess. Because there, I cannot reach it from here, no. I don't think so. Let's just double check that. No, I'm not going to eat a piranha for DSP Try. It's a big meat. You're, you're being very weird right now. Stop it right now. Okay. So the bread is there. Yeah, there's no way I can reach it from here. I was thinking maybe I could flop up, grab it, and flop back. But I'll, I'll drown before or uh, I'll suffocate before I do. All right. Are you ready? Trying to take a jump here. Son of a bitch. This is not working out well. Okay. There we are. So at least we're in a larger tank now. And now... Huh. What in the hell do I do now? First of all, why did they have an empty fish tank? It's kind of odd that they would just have an empty fish tank sitting here. I mean, I could definitely jump out, but I don't know where to go. I can't actually see what's on the other end of the room because the light is kind of blocking it, and it's also too far away. There very well could be somewhere for me to fly here, but... I can't see it. And if I die, I end up back in the, the thing over there. Damn, this stinks. How do I do this? Right? Hmm. Well, thank you, Jimmy. He says he saw a checkpoint, and he's right. If you look at the very far end of the room, that's a checkpoint way over there. Go get that piece of bread by being very careful. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, man. Very careful. Don't do that, but da, -ba -da, -ba -da, -da. This is what you're supposed to do because you get the bread and then you land on the chair and you go to the floor. This is how you do it safely. So technically it would be hard to miss the bread, I feel. Like you're supposed to do this, right? Yeah.
Yummy. And now I roll to the to the mat on the floor so it doesn't the ball doesn't break. Nice. Okay, I guess we go out the door. I don't see anything else in the room. I think that's we've done our job here. All right. The music is amazing. I completely agree. Wait. I'm going to the wall instead of the door. Of course I saw Free Willy. Everyone saw Free Willy in the 90s. Everyone saw it a million times. God, what is this? Look at this. We're going to be riding a track above the airport. Of course we are. Of course we are. This is ridiculous. This whole game is ridiculous, but it's fun as hell. I love this game. All right, we got a checkpoint. So, man, let's take a look at our bearings here. I could go this way. And then I guess there'd be a track over there to ride there. I could go that way, and then there'd be a track also. So there's essentially two different ways to try. I guess we'll just try the one straight in front of us first. No, we're not thinking about getting another pet right now. Ask me the weirdest questions when I'm trying to concentrate. No, we're not thinking about another pet. It's the last thing on my mind right now. We're not thinking about a fish and how to keep it alive. Fish Control Airport Security. So, oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh! At least I hit the checkpoint. I was not expecting to roll off the edge like that. That kind of sucked. So now I'm kind of committed to going this way. Uh, I don't know what would been what would have been the other way if I went the other way. I don't know which is the better route. Okay. Boxes. Let's hit the. Oh no! Do not go there. Go this way and hit the checkpoint, and then we can make a decision where we want to go next. Because I see multiple paths again. Okay, checkpoint. So if I go that way, okay. I don't know. It that looks like it takes us back. Like that was another way to go or something, right? That doesn't. It's going up. So I don't think you can actually do that. Then again, there's a fountain down there. So maybe the goal is to take that fall into the fountain. Okay. This way. I can't go that way. That's a dead end. See that? This way. No, see, this way I only could have gone if I had gone the other direction. If I had gone the other direction, I could have taken that down. So yeah, I have to go this way and get into the fountain. Yep. I do that too. Guy says before boarding a plane, I usually read a book. I usually read in the airport. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some tapping, taparooning, tap, tap, taparoo. See that? You taparoo. A taparoo? No, that was a that was extreme tap. Oh. Damn it. Let's try this again. Tap a rune. Tap, 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 tap. Look at this. Look at this. That's exactly what you want. A checkpoint, baby. So now we're in the fountain, which is awesome. But now, of course, we gotta figure out where we wanna go next. Perhaps we're gonna fly from fountain to fountain. It certainly looks that way. There's also bread. 
So if I make a jump, maybe I can get bread and then hook right? Got the bread! Oh, that was awesome! Yeah, I got the bread and right into the next freaking uh, uh, fountain. That was awesome. Now, the trickiness here, as you can see, the banners are in the way. So I have to, I have to fly around the banners to get to the next big fountain. Shouldn't be too big of a challenge, I don't think. <clears throat> okay. Guys, if you're going to start trolling, I'm just going to start blocking all you guys. Seriously. Oh, he said... Okay. Here we go. All right, I got rid of him. It was Derek who originally had sent that message, and other people were copying him to try to troll him, so fuck him. And then this guy also said something stupid, so you're out of here, too. Fuck both of you. Okay, good. Good. Do I like Finding Nemo? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That really stunk! Damn it. Need more momentum. Like that. That was good. No! Oh! Ah, la, 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 la. The wrong angle. I'll try. Let's go try going right instead of left. Let's try this. Okay, here we go. Ready? Do I still have the bag of goldfish from my condo at the condo? Yes. I kept that bag. For a decade, and I still have it. Dude, actually, I eat them all the time. Son of a bitch. You saw that? You saw how bad the hitbox was? I didn't touch the banner. The game acted like I did. That was really bad. So now knowing how bad that hitbox is, I have to stay way the hell away from the banners. Like, way far away. Alright, now I should be good. And I gotta jump to the next one, and the next one is the checkpoint. The snack that smiles back. <laughs> That's right. So that was the catchphrase for goldfish. The snack that smiles back. A clownfish? Clownfish are actually quite nice. They look very nice. They look just like, like uh, Nemo. Ugh. Singapore has allowed mask wearing to be optional outdoors. There's no more group size gathering limit outside. Everything's going back to normal, huh? Everything is going back to normal. Let's just hope there's no more bullshit outbreaks. Right? Keep it under under control. No! See this bullshit? That's... It showed that I was past it, and I wasn't. And that's bullshit. I totally looked like I was past the banner. And then I go turn and... Oh, no, you're not even close to being past it. What is that bullshit? Bullshit. There's only one word to describe it. Bullshit! I don't have momentum. I'm in trouble here. I'm in trouble here. I'm in trouble here. Oh! I didn't have the momentum I needed. Derek, I also missed my hamsters. They were awesome. Mask wearing is still required indoors in Singapore, I'm being told. Okay. So outdoors, you guys are good. Indoors, you still need them. Here, no one wears shit anymore. Everyone just gave up. Seriously, everyone just completely gave up on it. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Oh, I'm well past it now. I can't control it. I can't control it. What the fuck? I couldn't make it turn right. I tried. The difference between a hamster and a guinea pig, they're completely different creatures. A hamster is a, is a small rodent, similar to, say, a mouse. Oh, I hit the wrong button! Oh! A hamster is a small rodent, similar to, like, a mouse. Only has a very small, nubby tail. Um, does not poop everywhere like a mouse does. Like, one of the problems with mice is that they're very unclean animals. They tend to shit everywhere, and that's how they spread disease. Hamsters are not like that. Hamsters are burrowing gatherers. Essentially, they really like to gather uh, plants, grains, and they hide them in their cheeks, and they forage, and then they uh, 
they, they hide them in like their, their burrows. They're pretty cute. And uh, I've had hamsters twice in my life. I've liked both both times. The first time it was teddy bear hamsters. And then the last time I had it, it was uh, Russian dwarves. And both times I absolutely loved having them as pets. They're adorable pets. Easy, very easy to keep too. Not not difficult in any way to, to, uh, to maintain. So, guinea pigs are much bigger. Guinea pigs are those big guys, right? They're still rodents, but they're much larger. Their whole facial structure is different. And they don't have tails at all, I don't think, right? I don't think so. I don't think guinea pigs live in burrows. I could be wrong, though. All right, so now where am I going? Now I have no idea. I got to the checkpoint. Uh, where am I supposed to go from here? The only thing I can think of is towards the people, maybe? I, I don't really see. I can't go in here. Oh, Das Bojus, I had a guinea pig when I was younger and like noisy potatoes. You gotta love them. <laughs> They're very verbal, aren't they? Like, they don't look very verbal, but I heard that they make a lot of uh, cute noises. Man. It's not the front door. That doesn't open. Oh, is that a checkpoint over there? I have to fly inside of that? I have to fly to the corner of the room into the mop bucket. Oh my god. Wow. Oh boy. All right, ready? This is gonna be interesting. At least the checkpoint's here. Well then, perfect landing. Okay, I have no clue where I'm going, so at least there was a checkpoint. We just, we just roll and mess around till we figure it out. <laughs> if your friend's house smelled because they had hamsters, it means your friend didn't clean the hamster cage. I hate to tell you this, if you clean the hamster cage one to two times a week, your house will not smell. That's bullshit. Oh, these machines are useless. I'm gonna miss my flight. The <laughs> machine's not working for the guy. I've had some problems with machines at airports. It's not super common, but I've had some that just don't read stuff right away or, or the way they're supposed to. They give error messages. And it sucks for waiting in line to use it and the fucking thing won't work. I think I'm just going to close my eyes and pick around and try. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. I'm sure that'll work. Starting in March of next year, in the United States, they're going to require everyone to change their IDs. Everyone has to get a new fucking ID card now to fly. It's called a real ID card. I honestly have no idea what the difference is from the current ID cards we all have. But they said something like the statistic is like, only if you've got a brand new license in the last two or three years do you even have the real ID. Everyone else has an outdated ID and has to go pay for a new fucking ID. It's complete bullshit. You want to know what it is? A way for them to make more fucking money is what it is. Here we are. Nice. B. Stevens says California's been doing real ID for years. Yes, they said that states basically could have started doing it as early as 10 years ago, but most didn't even adopt it until the last couple of years. So like me, I got screwed. I moved here eight years ago. I got a new license. I've been just renewing that license over the years, and now I have to get a whole new one or I can't fly. And that's expensive. I must have lost my passport. It's been a rough week. He lost his passport. That sucks ass. Anything hidden? Oh, wait. I think I'm supposed to go in here. Anything hidden or anything? I don't see any bread. Oh, there is bread. Did you see that? There's a piece of bread around the corner. Your passport also works. I haven't had a working passport since I worked at the helicopter support company. And that was over 10 years ago, so... Oh, my God. It's the guy from the nightclub and the car accident right there. He's in the airport now. When was the last time I was on a plane? When I flew to Connecticut in 2019 to spend time with my parents and get married. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Seo says these these people are way more chill than people at real airports. Of course they are. This guy is such a fucking dumb fucking troll. He's coming here with a hundred accounts. I'm getting tired of banning him. Oh, that sucks. Samuelson says he literally got a new license right before the requirement went into effect, and now he has to get a new one. Yeah, it blows. It really blows. Okay. I would like to say thank you so much to the person who did the $48 tip, because as you guys have seen, contributions tonight have been completely stagnant. So if it wasn't for the person who did the giant tip earlier, I would have been a pretty hurting, hurting stream right now. So thank you very much to whoever that was. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that Derek. Every, uh, it's everyone's personal choice if they want to wear a mask. Obviously, and you can still continue to wear one if you want. I'd say here in Washington, it's about 50-50. 50% of people are still wearing them outside. 50% aren't. <clears throat> oh no! What the hell just happened? You are joking. Now, how is this my fault? How is it my fault that I that I fell out of the tub? That was bullshit. Now I gotta go get the bread again, don't I? That was just random bad luck. Yup, I gotta get the bread again. There's nothing you can do about that. That's the, the one of the, the random natures of the physics engine in the game. Is that sometimes the physics just take you where you don't want to be and I'm flopping out of the, the freaking thing, I'm dead. What would I do wrong there? I didn't know it was going to happen. Okay. Uh, finding Nemo time. Jim says the hardest part of the level is coming up. Great. Honestly, it hasn't been that hard up, up to this point. It's been pretty easy. Trying to get some crazy jumps in the back of the airport. No, I don't know, I don't know anything about boogie boxing someone, nor do I care. <laughs> I don't care about that. So, how can I do this and not fall out of the thing, right? I don't want to fall out. Keep me in the bucket. I stayed in now. So now, where am I going and what am I doing here? Uh, I probably want to stay right here. Okay, the checkpoint. Now, how would I get this to the checkpoint? Exactly. Uh, hmm. I'm not liking this. Do I have to do a straight jump out into the checkpoint? I am not liking this at all. Oh, come the fuck, fucking fuck. This is gonna be a pager pain in the ass to get down there.
Oh shit! Starting to get pissed off. I'm really starting to get pissed off. Two hundred twenty three people on the stream watching me get pissed off right now. I am gonna play Stray. Absolutely, I want to get it. I want to play it and get it. It looks great. It looks very unique. Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? What the fuck? I'm stuck. Even this is glitched. How am I balancing on my face? Come on, go! Move your ass so I can keep playing. Don't fall out. Okay. Okay, beautiful. At least I made it. Okay, now. This looks like it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass. Are you telling me I'm going to have to do a series of timed jumps from trunk to trunk? Oh my god. I have to do it before the trunks. Well, no. If I make it in there, the trunk will actually fall there. It'll go across a conveyor. I won't know when to jump until I actually make this. So, alright, ready? Oh shit, I already fucked up, didn't I? Oh yeah, I did. Oh yeah, I did. Oh yeah, I did. Oh, this is a big fuck up. This is a huge fuck up! A giant fuck up. Fucking fuck. Well, fuck. No, this one's closed! You have to time it for one that's open. Certain ones are closed. That one was open! How was I supposed to know? Go now. No, I can't get the momentum I need! I don't have the momentum I need! I don't have it! Ah! Yes! Yes! Okay, now what? Now we gotta see where we go. So we go onto this conveyor. Now I'm crooked. What's going on? Okay, we're moving. We're moving slowly. I can't really see anything. I see there's another room over there, but I can't fly through there. <clears throat> Wait, oh, they dumped me. Okay, there's a shell coming up. This is good. I can't see. The camera's blocked. I can't see anything. So I think we fly into the room there, into the bowl. All right. Cool. Cool, cool. That's right. Tomorrow is the 1st of May. That is correct. I went to... Oh, yeah, blah, blah. Shit. Hello, Kevin. Good evening. How are you? This is bad. This is very bad. Bad.
Ah. Tomorrow's Labor Day in Singapore. Well, happy Labor Day to you, Slayer. Write it. Well, they put me in the ball, so I'm not going to complain. All right. Obviously, we have to find a softened way to fall to the ground. So let's go into the chair. And then onto the rug. Nice. Now, where are we going? Not this way. This is a dead end. Uh, excuse me. It's disgusting. I'm very sorry about that. Really nasty. Simple Bubble says, I'm traveling to my family's home country in the Philippines. It's required to have a real ID and a booster shot. Damn. A booster shot in addition to the second shot, so you have to get another shot. Honestly, I, I think I would like to have another shot, just for the protection aspect of it. Outside of the incredible pain and soreness that I had from having the, the shots up to now, um, there was no real negative side effects, so I think I'd like to get a booster shot if it was ever made available to me. I don't know if it ever would be made available to me. Kevin says you came to carry tonight. Well, then you better carry that weight, carry that weight, carry that weight, and get your, uh, get to it. <laughs> get to it, Kevin. Come on. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> you, you did say it. You did set yourself up for it. All right. Now, let's see here. I think I need to fall onto the conveyor. Oh, yeah. See that? So there's going to be certain things to fall into that will hold the ball in place. There we are. Cool. In Singapore, elderly age 80 and above that are immunocompromised. Wait, hold on, hold on. Are eligible for a booster shot for COVID. I see. Some people are, are, are eligible, like my parents got it. I know for a fact. But I don't think they ever let us actually uh, become eligible. I don't think I want to go that way, right? No, I want to see where is this going to take us here. A very interesting stage for sure. Venom Snake, have a good night. We don't want to get off the boat with the belt. We want to stay on the belt until we figure out where this is going to take us. Jay has never seen the Scream movies. I think Scream 1 was pretty darn good. I think Scream 2 is alright. Like, the, the further on they go, progressively they get worse. Seriously. Oh, yeah? Derek's watching the original Mirror's Edge playthrough on YouTube that I did many, 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 many years ago. Many years ago. Was it 2009, was it? Or was it... I think it was 2009, wasn't it, Derek? I think so. All right, checkpoint. That's bad. So now I have to try to keep this on the belt. It's going to be a challenge. Right behind this piece of uh, suit, this suitcase. Woo. Right behind the suitcase, and I think I'll, I'll do it. December 24, 2008. Wow. That is a super duper old playthrough then. I thought it was 2009. 2008 was my very first year making content. So, actual, in actuality, one of my very early full playthroughs. Because I wasn't doing full playthroughs right away. It was actually not until near the end of the year that I started doing them. Cool. This, the second booster shot, which is the four shot, is eligible for the people you mentioned. Oh, here we've only had... Wait, how many did we have? I had... Okay, hold on. What? Oh, no, no you're kidding. I wasn't ready. Hurry, no. You've got to be kidding. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. Get in there now. Woo! Okay. Phew. Anyway, I think I have three doses. It was the original dose, the second dose that made you fully vaccinated, and then they added the third dose later. So I, I've had three. Yeah, I've had three. So has my wife. That's right. My parents have had four. Yes. Now, where on earth am I going to go? I'm assuming we got to time a jump for these suckers. No, no, no. Oh, this is very bad. That's very bad. Unless I do this. Oh, that was an ultimate save. 
Yo, that was the old... Wait a minute, where am I going? Uh-oh. Uh, oh. That was the ultimate save. I missed the first one. I landed in a second one. Nice. Now, what am I doing in this next part? Let's see. Here, look here. Phew. By the way, here's a piece of shit who's gonna get banned. Thanks, piece of shit, for fucking insulting everyone here. Fuck off. Whoa, I just received an anonymous $20 tip. Thank you to whoever this is from. They said, I love your Q&A. Please keep doing them for pre-streams. I hope to expect them daily for the next 14 years of your streaming. He wants daily Q&A every stream. The only time I don't do Q&A on my pre-streams, if it's a very lengthy pre-stream because I have a lot to cover. Sometimes we run out of time. But I'll just do, I'll do shout-outs for contributions and I won't do an open Q&A. But I always try. Kevin is claiming credit for that tip. What do you guys think? Do you believe him? Do you believe that that was Kevin? Let's see. It might be, actually. It might have actually been Kevin. Kevin, if that was you, thank you very much. I think it actually was, it was him. I think it actually was. All right. Thank you, Kevin. All right. Now, oh, crap. Yeah, this is, a, this is like, oh, God, this is bad. I need to jump. I have to jump. Right? I can't see anything. I have to jump. All right, here we go. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. That's not good. Uh, I'm not going to make it. Oh, come on. There's Brett. No! Dude. I was right there. Oh. There was bread. There was totally bread. Now, this is bullshit. There's no luggage at all. No. Shit. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh 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 Damn it. Oh this poor fish. No, come back. Come back. This is the best game I've ever played. It's fucking so good. It's hilarious, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. This is bullshit. Give me a fucking thing right now. Give one to me right now. Yes. Beautiful. So wherever it takes me, where's it going to take me? We're going middle this time. Okay. I guess I can't get the bread, though, right? Well, I guess maybe I could. If I make the right jump, then maybe I could get the bread. Because I don't know where the bread actually went. was from. Let's see here. The bread was... There it is on the lower conveyor. That's got to be an amazing jump I'd have to make and land perfectly in the bag from the lower conveyor to get that bread. There, I'd have to land this green one right here. Oh, what the fuck happened? Oh, come on. That's fucking bullshit. Why did he go down like a rock? All of a sudden, the fish weighs 400 pounds. What was that? Now I have no momentum at all. What is this shit? Oh, fuck. Come on. Oh, duh! Okay. No, not again with this. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Ah. Oh. No, come on. This game is beating me up tonight. 
Dark Side Fish. Just to me twenty dollars. Thank you to Dark Side Fish. I appreciate it. In shy. Fuck. No, it turned too early. It turned too early. In. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Another 20. Thank you to Dark Side Fish for a $20 tip. I appreciate that. Holy crap. Fucked up! Oh, you gotta be kidding! Fuck! This is ridiculous, man. I can't catch it. No. Oh, look how close I am, too. Look how close! I can still make it. I can still make it. Oh, I can't make it. Look how slow I am. Maybe I can make it to this one. Oh, no. I don't have the momentum. I don't have the momentum. I need to get up there. Yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shitty ass. What a shitty ass. Saul just did a super chat and says, let's get the poll going. Sadly, that's not how it works. It's not based off a of super chat, Saul. I appreciate the super chat, though. However, at the same time, <clears throat> we had two different tips. One came in from Joel for $10, and one came in from Slayer for $9. Slayer says, here's to reach the goal and wear a hat. I would suggest wearing the Pikachu hat. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's 19. So I get this up to 110, actually. Excellent. Thank you guys for the insane support tonight for I Am Fish. <sighs> ah. It's hat time. We don't have a lot of time. You guys got to vote fast. Okay? Which hat is most fishy? Vote fast. We got Pikachu. Fuck. Pikachu. Fake hair. Viking. Punisher. Beanie. Please vote as quickly as possible. We're running out of time. <clears throat> I'm feeling good about this. Fucking... I clipped through the goddamn wall. I'm feeling better about this. Wait! No! God damn! This one's got to go in. No possible way I'm missing this one. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shit. A WWE themed hat for 2K22. A luchador mask? Nah. See, I gotta wear something that's not intrusive. Wearing a luchador mask would totally bother me. It really would. So that's not possible. I have like zero momentum right now. Look at this. I'm so screwed.
Jared has done a super chat saying, which is harder, Elden Ring boss or fishy? <laughs> I don't know. It's a good question, Jared. Right now, this is quite challenging. I'm not going to lie. Thank you for the super chat. There's all this water going. <clears throat> We're on the middle conveyor. Yes! Wow, that was good! Now just don't fall out. I should get the bread by default, right? I don't have to jump here. They should just give it to me. Nice! Now I just gotta figure out where to go next. There's a checkpoint right there. Oh, God. Okay, ready? Yes! Amazing! That was so good. Okay, now we're. I gotta strategically figure out where to go next. Probably that conveyor there, but then where? This has gotta be like fast. There's a conveyor in the back not moving? No, it's moving. It was glitched, I think. This is. I don't know. I think just jump to this and then figure it out. Okay, now, holy shit, I don't know. I have no idea. I guess I gotta make a jump to the back of the place. I don't have the momentum, nope. If I had more momentum, I could do it. I have no momentum, look. That's gotta be it, man, this is tough. No, no, I fucked up. Next one, next one. Yes, yes, yes. Stay here, stay here, stay here, stay here, stay here. Good. Hey, good. Directly in. Wow, directly in. Okay. Come on, give me a box! There's no box! Give me a box! Come on, give me a box! Give me a box! <laughs> Come on! Ugh. All right, how are we doing? Pikachu, oh, Pikachu and Viking are tied. Guys, we need a definitive winner. Please keep voting. Okay, this sucks. I have zero momentum. Oh, <laughs> shitty ass. What a shitty ass. Fuck it, I'm going all the way. Straight shot fill. That's what they call me. Straight shot fill. Is this where we're going? This might be where we're going. Oh shit. Okay, we're, we might go to the next area. Nice. Straight shot fill. We did it! Next part. Nice. Woo! Okay. We still got a tie. I don't know what's in the lead because there's a tie right now between Viking and Pikachu. We need a freaking... We need a definitive winner so I can put it on, guys. We're almost out of time. So Jim says, now you're on a plane. You're actually on a plane. That was terrible. Ow! Wait a minute. Oh, I can move it! I'm not jumping out of it. I can move it. It's on wheels. Oh. <laughs> Alright, it looks like... Okay, Viking. Viking hat. Alright. Viking hat it is. There we go. 
Derek, I'm happy you were here tonight. Thanks for joining me, and have a good night. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Again, it's doing this and getting stuck on nothing. Why am I stuck? Okay, got to a checkpoint, so that's excellent. <clears throat> now it looks like I have to jump. Okay, I'm gonna have to jump. Boy. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. That's very bad. Very bad jump. Beautiful. <laughs> You're moving the luggage around. It's hilarious. Why the hell would the luggage be full of water? That's hilarious, man. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Another checkpoint. Damn, they put a lot of checkpoints in this room. That's the music. That's the victory music. <clears throat> Let's go, go, go. Let's go. Ready? And we... Oh, God. We're off. Holy shit. did it that was awesome <laughs> achievement sword to victory four out of five pieces of bread found only two stars 53 respawns god damn that sucked but hey i did it i got it done right and traded my points i guess we trained them all in all right there's brister papavera with a marvelous mount look at that okay very nice very nice. Will we have enough time to wear a vest if you tip the remaining? Yes, I'll put it on and we'll do like 10, 15 minutes of Q&A. Because I'm not going to do any more gameplay tonight. That's for sure. <clears throat> so they're all going to be reunited. It's going to be the happy ending cutscene. Yeah, look. Reunited. All four fresh friends. Yes. <laughs> they are fish. After all this, they got freaking caught after all of that. You've got to be joking me. Ah, oh, so now I, I knew it. Finale. There's one stage left. So a little bit of a minor spoiler. I talked about this when I started playing tonight. Um, I was told that there was a finale stage. And this stage, okay, this stage requires all four fish to alternate between each other using each of their abilities to their own advantages and strengths. 
So there may be a situation where you need the puffer fish to bounce. There may be a situation where you need the piranha to grab something or the flying fish to fly over and hit a button and then release something so they can all move on. You see? <clears throat> so, this is probably going to be very challenging and probably le lengthy. So we are going to do another stream of this game. At first, I thought we would be able to finish this tonight, but there is no way I have time to do this. There's another stage. So, that means next time around, will be the final I Am Fish stream, okay? By hook or by crook, we'll finish it. We'll finish the final stage. If there's some extra time, maybe we'll try to go back and get some extra stars in some of these earlier stages where I did pretty poorly. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I think we'll try to do, okay? All right, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Great stream, right? Man, once again, another stream where I got... The two stages done, each took about an hour. They were challenging, they were fun. The music was absolutely outstanding, right? So I had a ton of fun tonight. I hope that you guys did too. Um, and I can't wait for the finale. You might say, when will it be? Later on in the week, probably around the middle of this week, probably Wednesday-ish, if you're watching live on stream. If you're watching on demand on YouTube, it'll be just uploaded later in the week. I'm sure you don't really care that much. You know, it's gonna show up. But if you're watching live, you wanna, oh, I wanna be there live, probably like Wednesday night, I'm thinking, okay? Yeah, I know. Jim says, look at that. Flying Fish 3, which is the hardest one, was my highest rating. Everything else was a one star. The Flying Fish stages, I think the reason that I get one star is because I die so much. You, you, you miss the jump so many times. It's just like respawn, respawn, respawn. And it, it freaking takes forever to beat. And because of the time, I think the time kills you. Like the time legit screws you over and makes you get a low star rating, even if you did good, you know. But all right, guys, great stuff. I really enjoyed it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. Thanks a lot. Until the conclusion next time, peace out. Thank you.